Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine for the newcomers and a special welcome to you. For the returning subscribers, welcome back and thank you so much for the support. So today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be talking about Carnival. The last of the season has just passed with the Parade of the Bands last Monday and Tuesday. And today I'm going to be talking about why I wasn't there, like why I wasn't on the road Monday and Tuesday, and why I don't think I will be returning. So if you're interested in that, then stick around. So for the past two years, I've been asked, Jasmine, are you jumping carnival this year? What band are you jumping with? And my answer is, I have retired. And that is a, a very short answer to the reason why I'm not jumping carnival anymore, but it is a very diplomatic way of saying, I'm not interested, I've done it enough, and People tend to ask me why and they want some sort of explanation because I am still very young, like why have you retired from Carnival? A uh, little backstory, anybody who knows me know, knows that I love everything Carnival. When it is Carnival season, I'm in my glory, I'm very happy. I don't go to a lot of the events, but I do take in everything. So I have been jumping Carnival from a child. I literally started jumping Carnival from kindergarten, like from the time I could walk. <laughs> and I stopped in 2022, so that's two years ago. And even though I have stopped jumping carnival, like being part of the parade of the bands, I still participate in everything, whether it is going to the show or watching it on TV. So there's a carnival queen, there's king and queen of the bands, there's panorama, there's the soca monarch, the calypso monarch. I'm tuned into literally everything. I love the culture, I love the creativity of the season. I just love everything about carnival because it's a part of my identity. I grew up with it and it is part of what makes me me. I love to dance, I'm a dancer and soca music is just, it's, it, it gives you vibes, right? So I have been a carnival person my entire life and it is very weird for a lot of people to hear that I'm not interested in carnival anymore. Uh, so I made this video just so that if somebody asks me the question, I can probably direct them to this video and also just to share my opinion on what I feel about the carnival um, season right now. Well, specifically the period of the bands, uh, my opinion on it and just why it is that I've removed myself from that. So the last time that I jumped carnival was in 2022 when I returned home from school and ever since that experience, I kind of didn't want to go back. A lot of the things that I will be talking about, I did experience during that time and I have witnessed over the last two years or so. And it's it's just put a sour taste in my mouth and it kind of makes me feel like I don't want to be part of that experience anymore. However, I would like to say that despite all of the reasons that I am talking about right now, as a St. Lucian, as a West Indian, I do think it's very important to experience the carnival Monday and Tuesday at least once in your life. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to do everything that you're doing on the road, but I do feel like it gives you a deeper appreciation of what the experience should be, what the culture is like. And I mean, you live once, right? You can try everything one time. Not everything, everything, like everything. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the reasons why I am not German Carnival first and then I will talk about my issues after. Uh, so one of the reasons is that I feel like I am not the target audience anymore. We are part of a touristic destination country, that is where we get most of our revenue as a country from and I understand that one of the main things about Carnival right now is to bring in foreigners to the country to, you know, boost the economy, bring in foreign currency, etc. I totally get that. However, I do feel like carnival and the carnival season, the events and everything, it's targeted towards foreigners a little more than our local people. And I have an issue with that because without St. Lucian's, carnival wouldn't be anything. Like, if you bring in foreigners, you're not going to get the St. Lucian experience on the road. You're going to get a foreign experience in St. Lucia. Like, it's two different things. And I just don't appreciate not being accommodated as a St. Lucian. The prices are way too high. Like the things aren't even quoted in, in EC dollars anymore. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. I just feel like the audience and the people that they're trying to captivate and the people that they're trying to pull into the bands, 
they're not my nationality and so I have left it for the people that they intend carnival to be for. Another thing with the target audience, I have notes at the bottom here so if you see me watching that's what I'm watching. Another thing with the target audience for the bands, it's not only foreigners but it's friends of the group. So St. Lucians have this thing where they're it people, I feel like I guess that's in every culture, they're a subset of people who are the cool people, the popular people, whatever it is, the people you want to be around. People like to fit in, people like to feel part of a group and whatnot. And there are people who run this carnival thing. There are people who run the bands, they have all the clout and everything. And I feel like certain people want to jump in certain bands to be affiliated with certain people. And I'm not about that life. Like, Carnival for me is not about trying to fit into any sort of aesthetic with any set of people. It's for me to put a really pretty costume on the road, go out and parade and enjoy myself and have fun. And I feel like sitting that, that type of camaraderie that we had before in Carnival where people were friends, that's, that was a place that you'd make friends, that you'd meet different people, you'd go to mass camp and you'd you know, work on your costume and whatnot. We don't have that anymore. Everything comes ready-made and all you do is collect your costume and go on the road. And if you're not part of the IT group, then you get a different sort of experience as opposed to somebody else. And I don't have time for that. So the people that they want in their group and in their clique and the foreign currency that they want, let them they can have the carnival. So the second thing, the second reason uh, I didn't mention it a little while ago is the price. Have you seen the prices of these costumes? Like These things are $2,000 and above for the really nice ones. And okay, I get you can say, you can get an, an, a, a, a cheap costume, you can pay like $800, $1,000 and you won't get all the feathers, but what's the point? What's the point of having like a very cheap costume because that's what I can afford and the things that are really pretty and really beautiful are out of my budget and out of my price range. Like what's the point of being there in the first place? Like just to be on the road? The point of jumping carnival is to be in a beautiful costume and if I cannot afford it then I will just not be on the road. I, I feel like spending that amount of money in this day and age should go to something it should go to two things right either something that you're going to have for a long time or something that contributes to a better life so let's say you're doing youtube and you want to buy a camera that's going to help you or improve you in some sort of way then spend that money second thing is experiences i feel like experiences are really important to have they expand your knowledge on certain things they open your eyes to different things that if you stay in your little bubble you're not open to so i don't have a problem with spending that kind of money on having experiences that's going to bring new knowledge and new insight into my life but let's be honest what is the experience that you're having on the road for you to be spending that type of cash like there are people taking loans from courts or wherever to pay for costumes and it's giving trying to fit in and it's giving broke and I'm not about that life. So Another thing that I think is very important to kind of think of and put into perspective when it comes to these prices is the same people that you're trying to fit in to be or to be around or just to be in it. Let me tell you all a secret they're not paying for their costumes. I've been on the road for years and I have never paid over $800 for a costume. I've never paid full price and there are some years that I've jumped and I did not pay. I think it's very important to put into perspective that kind of thing because there are people that you want to be around or you want to be like or you aspire to be but really think about the like I, I've sat down and I've thought about it and I'm like am I putting the same thing that they're putting in to have this sort of experience or are they getting it for free and that's why they're promoting it and that's why they're so overjoyed to be a part of it speaking of costumes what is it that we have right now like this is one of my main reasons for not jumping carnival 
I can deal with not being a part of the crowd because I actually do not care. I can deal with paying for the costume because I'm not going to pay full price or I'm going to buy something that's within my price range, maybe. Or maybe that year I feel like splurging and I decide, sure, I'll pay for the costume. What exactly am I paying for? Because the costumes that they have right now, they either all look the same, they're very low quality and by the time you jump two little steps with it, by the time you leave Mega J and you reach Sunny Acres, you have half of your feathers or the piece on which your feather is, is broken so it's on a side or it's skimpy to the point where you're not comfortable on the road. The last year that I jumped, I jumped Carnival, like I said, was 2022. And I got the costume and I'm like, is this a costume? Or like, am I supposed to do something with this? I literally had to go get pads. Like, you know the pads that come in the swimsuits? I had to get that and sew it onto the wire bra. Because... Even though my nipple is covered with a pasty, I don't want my entire boob out. So I had to go and makeshift something so that I can feel comfortable on the road. And then added to that, the panty that I got was a piece of string that covered, it did not cover anything on my body. And I had to take the rag that they give in the, 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 the bag with your costume and everything, your bottle, whatever, your package basically and wrap the rag around me so that I can feel comfortable going on the road. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a young lady and I do not feel comfortable with all my backside, all the shape of my downstairs region, all of my boobs and everything that's supposed to be covered out for the world to see. That's not people's business to see. You should not see how much cellulite I have on my skin. Even though I probably don't care. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have cellulite, but I'm just saying. like, That's not for the public eye. That's not for millions of people. There are people watching this on the internet. This is being recorded for live television. There are people standing on the road watching you as you parade down. And you're giving me a piece of string to put on me that I paid $2,000 for. The math is not my. Is this the girl math? <laughs> is this the girl math that people are talking about on TikTok? Because the math is not my thing. Where is the costume? Where are the? Where where is my money going? I I don't understand. Added to the fact that the costume is a very lackluster and it's missing cloth and missing feathers and is of low quality and everything that I just said. Where is the creativity? Carnival is a time where you, all of the creative people get to shine. The designers and the, like, that's the time that you see what the country has to offer when it comes to that. And tell me why all of the costumes either look the same, they look recycled from years prior or from other countries, or they just lack creativity and vision. It's like, they tell you the, the theme for the, the year is, it's, okay, here's my, here's my, my, my opinion, right? I feel like they design the costumes and then they look at the costumes and they're like, okay, what sort of theme or nonsense can we put on this and say this is where we got our inspiration from? As opposed to coming up with a theme and then creating costumes that surround that theme and that look very good and that you can learn from. I remember Carnival being a time that you learned about Greek history and you learned about so many things because they they would narrate when you come on the stage and they would talk about different things and you get to see it. It, it was it was a performative cultural event. It wasn't just feathers, panty, and bra. Like, how many times are you going to come with a yellow? orange and green costume and then say it's a forest then you come you say it's a bird you use the same costumes and you give it like 900 different themes where is that creativity so the next reason that i do not 
want to participate in the carnival experience anymore <laughs> is the food and the drinks that are given to the revelers. I have been part of several carnival bands. I will not mention any names because I don't really care for bashing anybody in specific because they all do the same thing generally. Am I paying $2,500 to eat like a dog? Like, the food that you're given, one, it's not given on time. It's always late. Two, it's almost like you have to beg the people to feed you and to give you drinks because they always have an attitude and they always have a problem with giving you what you paid for. Three, what it is that you actually get is best I cook my food at my home on a morning before put my food in a container and meet my mother in town and tell her when I reach in town, give me my container because this can't be it. I remember a year there was a, a carnival ban. I think it was Red or Just For Fun who did like a barbecue on the road. I guess that was nice. I wasn't part of that ban at the time so I didn't really experience that. But some of these places, they're giving you stale roti, they're giving you rice, box mac and cheese, chicken with no flavor. Like, at what point is it like, why? Like, that's the best that I can, I can say, why? I'm paying so much money, y'all get sponsors for the drinks, you get sponsors for the food. It's not like you're doing me a favor by feeding me. Why is it that I'm, I'm getting such bad quality of food? So, and the food is cold. If you eat once, you can't eat again. <laughs> you can't eat again. You have to hold a little $5 in your bags. So when you reach in town, you can buy a piece of chicken somewhere. Like, <laughs> I remember when I was jumping carnival, my mom would do like bakes and stuff. And they would cook. And when I got to where they were, I would take food from them because I, I just could not depend on getting quality, proper food from my band. And that's such a sad thing. Like, you pay so much money to have such a great experience on the road and then you're given such disastrous food that have no that it has no taste. It's not appealing in any type of way. It's like, Where's the standard? Where's the professionalism? Where's the we're the best band and whatever, whatever kind of attitude that all of these bands have? Okay, so these are the main reasons why I decided not to be jumping carnival anymore. Uh, but added to these reasons, I have several issues with what carnival has become and they're kind of more reasons for me not to go back on the road. I would like to put in here a disclaimer I tend to come off a little judgmental sometimes and people are very sensitive. So I'm giving my opinion and I'm stating my reason for why I do not jump carnival. But somebody might watch this video and think that I'm trying to convince other young women to not jump carnival. Disclaimer, that is not my intention. You do you, I do me. This is it's basically me talking and saying why it is that I do not jump, but my intention is not to convince anybody. I do not care what other people do, I care what I do. Added to that, another disclaimer, a lot of the things that I'm going to be talking about, people might take offense to it and might feel like I'm looking down on people who participate in carnival for the reasons that I'm going to be explaining or I feel like I'm high and mighty and I'm better than everybody else because I don't jump carnival anymore. That is not where I'm coming from at all. I do not judge anybody who chooses to do that. This, me making a decision to not jump carnival anymore is me exercising my right to have boundaries for myself. I'm just explaining that to you and I'm articulating this in a way that maybe somebody might be thinking and they don't know how to articulate it. That's what I'm doing. But I'm not saying, well, you paying your 2-5 and so you are an irresponsible individual and because I'm not paying 2-5 to do that, that means I'm more responsible than you. No. It means that I 
have a boundary around spending so much money on something that I'm not getting out of anything from and my boundaries are different to yours and that is okay so people live your life do what you like and do what's best for you and if you get triggered or you feel offended by anything that I say then that's too bad so one of my main issues with carnival right now is that it lacks culture I look at the French people coming with their beautiful costumes, their beautiful routines, their music, their vibes, and I just admire and adore them. It's like, I want to join them. I want to ask them like, when they come, can I come and do what you're doing with y'all? Because that is so tasteful. It's such a good representation of them. And it's something that I, would, I wouldn't feel ashamed to be a part of. Our carnival, on the other hand, I feel like lacks culture. When I say our carnival, I'm talking about our parade, right? Don't misquote me or misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm literally talking about Monday and Tuesday. There's no culture in that. There is no, there's nothing that you can come on the road and see and be like, oh my God, that is so St. Lucian and that is so nice to see. What people do on the road is wine, jump up, have fun. That's not cultural. And Probably people don't care to be part of culture anymore and I mean to each their own but I want to be part of something cultural. I want to be part of something that uplifts me as a person and Carnival just doesn't do that anymore. Somebody might say that Jasmine well maybe you should, jo you should join Tribe of Twill or if you have a problem with the costumes and you have a problem with this and that maybe you should join one of them like bands with the old people. Old people. You can say that. And I can tell you no, because it's my right to say that I do not want to jump in these bands. I don't think that being cultural and being decent has to equate to being with the old people. And you see, the thing with Carnival right now, the issue with Carnival is not just the Carnival itself, but our generation as a whole, like what we like and what we enjoy and I don't think that I need to be around old people for me to feel comfortable and if it is that the young people are not interested in doing what I'm interested in then I will just stay away. My other issue, I was explaining this earlier, when I got the costume in 2022 I had to do so many alterations to it for me to feel comfortable and I when I was also on the road, there were so many things that I had to do to make myself comfortable being on the road. So I kind of had to be a little stoosh so that people didn't feel the need to come and dance on me or come and touch me. Uh, I had to give people like all eyes so that they wouldn't watch me. There were so many things that I had to change about myself. Um, so many things that I had to change about the costume. So many alterations I had to make to the experience for me to feel comfortable and I kind of sat down and I thought why is it that I love carnival so much that I'm not comfortable on the road I'm not comfortable with people watching me half naked I'm not comfortable with men just come in and try and dance on me and getting upset because I tell them no I'm not comfortable with the type of things that I'm seeing around me and being associated with that yet still I'm fighting so hard to stay on the road and I'm fighting so hard to be a part of this thing that I'm not comfortable with like I had to do some introspection and kind of realize you're not comfortable for a reason because this doesn't resonate with you anymore this is not something that you like why is that's like going someplace and that's like going to a, a restaurant and you don't like how they prepare the food and every time you come you have to season the food yourself or you don't like how they make their drinks, so you make your drinks in advance and then you bring them to drink. Like, what's the point of going to the restaurants? And that's how I feel about Carnival. It's like, there's so many things that make me uncomfortable at this point in time. Like, there's no point in being involved in it anymore. I knew I would get to this point, and this is probably going to be the point in time where people are going to be taking the most offense, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Carnival for me right now has become a parade of nudity and a parade of vulgarity and it's sad to see that it has come to something like that and 
whereas a lot of young women do not have a problem being like almost naked on the road with strings i i personally have an issue with it i do not feel like us as young women should subject ourselves to that type of nudity on the road yes our breasts are covered yes we have stockings and we have pieces of cloth covering our downstairs regions but it's just it's i sat and i've thought about it and i'm like would i want to see my daughter like would i want my daughter to see me in something like that and then aspire to be on the road just like me and the answer to that was no you get all I work at a place with a lot of men and when carnival was coming they they made this this comment and they said I waiting for these women eh? these women that is be <laughs> they said these women that is be at the bank acting stoosh and they don't want nobody to watch them they giving cut eye and whatever whatever they, they don't want people to watch them too hard or talk to them I waiting for them on carnival day let me see all their business all their backside outside, all of their cats outside, all of their breasts outside. I'm waiting for them. They drink how much rum? i waiting. <laughs> and I found it so funny because it's it's true. It's throughout the throughout the year, certain people act in certain ways. And then on Carnival Day, it's like you let everything loose. You let you you basically show and showcase everything. Like what's the point of being stooshed throughout the year? I I, I don't get it. Uh, I have an issue with it being okay in our culture now to be dressed like that and for little girls to aspire to that um, that type of nudity in public. I don't think it's appropriate. I'm not saying that if you are okay with being like that, like I'm better than you or I feel like I'm more virtuous than you. That's not what it is. My boundary, again, is set at I do not want to be on the road in that way and if you don't have that boundary then that's fine I actually thought about it the other day and I googled the word parade and it's basically uh, people walking either celebrating something or looking for attention and I think that sums up what our carnival has turned into a lot of women who have no appreciation of our culture a lot of these women who do not they don't even sit down and watch King and Queen of the Bands. They don't watch our Soka Monarch. They don't watch our Calypso. They, ha they, they have no interest in any other part of our carnival experience and carnival season. They are elated to go out on the road in panty and bra for people to watch them. To basically parade and to look for attention. And I feel like our parade has turned into a live Instagram feed of women with their backsides and all of everything outside to get attention and to basically parade and advertise themselves to the public you may not agree with that opinion of mine i don't care honestly um if you have a different opinion and you care to share it in a respectful way, you can comment down below. But that is my opinion and I don't I don't feel it's very it's very tasteful for us to see carnival as a photo op, for us to see carnival as a an excuse to be naked on the road because everybody else is doing it. Like if you go to the beach and I mean you want to be in a swimsuit, that's appropriate, but for you to be passing through the streets of Castries naked, like it doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't sit sit well with my boundaries, and I take issue with it. So I'm not going to participate in it anymore. Added to what I was saying, where I felt very uncomfortable being on the road and having to tell people no, I feel like a lot of men have this sort of entitlement when it comes to carnival. It's like, well, I pay my money to be in a band with you. And y'all are the women in the band, so it's up to y'all for me to get it good. It's up to y'all for me to enjoy myself. And if you don't want to dance with me, then you being stoosh or you being a Debbie Downer or whatever it is. And it's just very uncomfortable to have to tell 30 people no in one day. Or like every time somebody come on you for you to have to move. Because these it's almost like men feel entitled 
to have to dance with you because you're in their band or because you're in their section and if you do dance with them then it's a problem sometimes they get aggressive and it's because there's that entitlement where you subject yourself to that environment and so they feel like since you're here with us it means that you're okay doing this thing and I'm not okay so I'm not going to be there added on to the costumes being very skimpy and nudey um, the vulgarity on the road is just too much for me why is it that people are dry humping on the road like there's a difference between dancing and rotating your waist in a circular motion and dry humping and what these men and women are doing on the road right now is dry humping and have you ever thought these panties are so thin and skimpy you, it's basically like you're, you, you're having sex on the road because you feel in everything, whatever the person doing behind you, because you have no clothes on you. It's just very not tasteful anymore. I like to see people dance and there are certain people that I've seen that have enjoyed themselves on the road. They don't do all of that. But for me, the bad eggs have spoiled the entire thing and you see our little children doing it now like our little children don't dance together and move like they want to dry hump the same way the grown-ups are dry humping and it's why are we trying why are we dry humping i don't get it issue number whatever <laughs> i have an issue with tuesday wear and i feel like a lot of people might not agree with this issue or they might not understand this issue i feel like the point of carnival is to be part of a tribe and part of a group and this tuesday wear thing that they've introduced is basically individuals wearing something that is not on theme with the band and it's basically a whole sea of women in bathing suits parading celebrating carnival like what exactly are you celebrating i can't identify what band that you're from i can't identify what theme that you're part of like there's nothing to there's nothing cultural about it like i would understand it as an opportunity for smaller designers to have exposure if they will okay you're part of let's say red and the theme for that year is different dragons and your section was i don't know a red dragon so your first costume was contribute like you got it from your band and then maybe you got a Tuesday wear from a smaller designer showing their version of a dragon I can understand that but where's the creativity and the culture in putting literally a swimsuit on you and going and dance and wine on the road like that takes away the creativity and the culture from carnival even more and I cannot agree with that so my next <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of issues. My next issue is that you get sort of the same experience every time you jump carnival. If I'm paying money for something, a lot of money, and every year the price is going up, the food is not getting better, the drinks are not getting better, the costumes are the same, I would think that at least the increase in price would come from maybe a different experience. like. Maybe if I jump with one band, I get one experience as opposed to jumping with another band, I get another experience. But every year, the experience is either the same or worse. The last time I jumped Carnival, my experience was horrible. The music was horrible. The food was horrible. There were a lot of foreigners around me complaining about how long the route was. Like they didn't know how long the route was. And they were complaining because they had heels on. Like who jumps Carnival in heels? Uh, anyway. My experience just never gets better so what's the point of the increase in price and what's the point of doing it every year like you've done it maybe three four times and it's the same thing all the time maybe it's time to move on like that's how i felt and that's my issue with carnival like if every five years something changed or something was new it would encourage me to want to be a part of it or want to participate in it for me to experience what's new but it's not new so i don't care to experience it my last issue, finally, <laughs> is that, okay, when you're in a relationship, your perspective on jumping carnival changes because it's like, 
why would I go on the road and dance with random people when I have a partner at home? Maybe that might feel disrespectful. There are different people, but the majority of men and the majority of women would not necessarily feel comfortable with their partner dancing with a whole set of people being dry humped in public, right? Why is it that when we're in a relationship, it's a problem, but when we're single, it's not? Is it that when you're in a relationship, you value yourself, but when you're single, you don't value who you are as a person? Like, that's something I feel like people don't think about. Is it that you're not doing it when you're in a relationship because you're being respectful to your partner and you don't see anything wrong with it, but when you're single, you can do it free really? I don't get it. I value myself as a human being. I value myself as a young lady. I don't feel like men who see me out on the street every day in well-dressed and looking good need to see what my body shape is like and the, all the crevices of my body on Carnival Monday and Tuesday. I think there's some allure of being mysterious. There's some allure to somebody looking at you and thinking that you look very beautiful and wanting to get to know you more, to see that part of you i don't feel like you should be seeing it for free so i have an issue with that guys we've come to the ending of my issues finally i would like to say that i recognize that carnival has a lot of benefits especially the carnival season it's an array of different things a lot of people benefit economically um it brings in a lot of foreigners and i do understand the relevance of trying to keep our carnival alive and trying to keep our culture alive and this video by no means is me telling people to not jump carnival or me telling people you should not come to see jump carnival that's not what I'm trying to do and like I said I think it's something that you have to experience at least once in your life I recognize the benefits I recognize how it helps to promote and kind of bring St. Lucia on a larger scale. A lot of people learn about St. Lucia through our carnival and I'm not knocking down the people's hustle, right? Although the same people make the same money every year, but that's another video. I understand all of the benefits of carnival. I just think that as a generation and as an evolution of what carnival has become, it's not something that I personally want to be a part of anymore. Uh, I think that the carnival season, especially Calypso, I really love Calypso. I like the creativity of the, the, the songs. I like to see the presentations. I love Carnival Queen. I'm actually going to be doing a video um, talking about what I thought about the Carnival Queen show this year. So you can stick around for that. Um, I love what Carnival is and what it should be. My issue is really the parade of the bands right now and the nudity and vulgarity of what it's what it has turned into. Um, but I, I, like I said, by all means, people are free to do what they want. They're free to do what they like, and I'm not I'm not knocking down anybody for doing what they enjoy. A lot of people, we might think that they enjoy the the attention, and they actually just enjoy having a free up time for two days and not having to worry about anything. I don't know. I don't think it's a good thing for our young women. That's just my opinion. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I would like to hear your comments down below. I know a lot of people might have varying opinions or um, a lot of things to say about what I said. Um, feel free. I don't, I don't have any issues with anything anybody has to say to me. Uh, take care everyone. I hope you had an enjoyable carnival season. If you did jump carnival, I hope you enjoyed. I didn't enjoy the last time I jumped, but I hope you did. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!